Hello, I'm Josh Odette from Roaring Penguin Technical Support. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to add and test a verification server. You may be watching this video because you received a warning from your Canet system checker that looks like this. This tells us that Canet does not have a way to verify recipients for this domain. Our companion video explains what recipient verification means, why it's important, and describes the ways that Canet can verify recipients. This video applies to Canet Pro and Canet Domain Pro, and it applies for our hosted Canet environment as well as on-premises deployments. Before we start, let's assess your situation. Do you need a verification server? In our video on understanding recipient verification, we discussed the three options in Canet for verifying recipients. If you're setting up a new domain and it has an LDAP or Active Directory server, try setting up a user lookup first. This has the advantage of a more thorough integration with your user base and it includes recipient verification. If there is no LDAP or Active Directory server available for your new domain, then a verification server is the way to go. If your domain is already set up with a different mapping method, changing to a user lookup will probably change the way stream names are assigned, so a verification server is the way to go. Use the valid recipients table only if your SMTP server cannot be made to reject mail for invalid recipients. Later in this video, we'll see how to check this. First, let's see how to tell what method is being used to map recipient addresses to stream names. Here I'm logging into my example Canet Domain Pro system. The same instructions will apply for Canet Pro. Now I go to Setup and then Domain Mappings. In this case, we see that our example domain, example.com, uses the as is domain mapping method. This means that the stream name for each recipient address will be the same as the addresses. For example, an email to bob at example.com will go through a stream called bob at example.com. Note that if we were to create a user lookup for this domain instead, the stream names would probably change. Most user lookups assign a user ID or account name as the stream. So in our example, bob at example.com would be looked up in LDAP or Active Directory, and the owner's user ID or account name, say it's Bob, would become the stream name. If we made the change, Bob at example's email will go through a different stream, and any settings in the existing stream would not be used anymore. Now that we've determined that we want to set up a verification server, let's see how to set it up. I go to Setup, and then Domain Routing. The SMTP server we'll use in verification server is almost always the same as the backend mail server. So for example.com, I click edit, and we see that the server's IP address is 192.168.10.23. Now we go to setup, and then verification servers, and we add our exam, example.com domain on the left, and the server IP address 192.168.10.23 and we submit the change. Notice that we see a warning telling us that this server appears to accept mail to any recipients. Once we enter the verification server, Canet performs a test to see if it will reject mail to invalid recipients. If you see a warning like this when you add your verification server, you will need to reconfigure the server so that it rejects mail to invalid recipients. For example, Microsoft Exchange servers don't do this by default. Exchange can be made to reject mail to invalid recipients by using a feature in their software called recipient filtering. Even though we've received this warning, it's important to note that the verification server has been added. We can see this by revisiting the page. Verification servers, and we can see here that example.com has been added. Let's see how to test a server to see if it rejects mail to invalid recipients. After I fix the SMTP server to behave properly, I could simply delete and then re-add the verification server to get Canon to test it again. But the following test more clearly demonstrates what's going on. Here, I tell that to mail.coringpenguin.com on port 25. 
mail.roaringpenguin.com is Roaring Penguin's mail server, and port 25 is the SMTP port. Hello me, mail from support at roaringpenguin.com, RCPT2, something made up at roaringpenguin.com, recipient OK. Notice that the server has accepted my RCPT2 command to a recipient address which is clearly made up and doesn't exist. This server is not ready to be used as a verification server. Now let me try again after making some changes. Tell at mail.roaringpenguin.com on port 25. Hello me. Mail from support at roaringpenguin.com. Something made up at roaringpenguin.com. User unknown. Notice now that the server rejects my command. The server is behaving properly and is ready to be used as a verification server. If we cannot find a way to make the backend mail server reject mail to invalid recipients, then verification server will not work for our domain. If this is the case, then we should use the valid recipients table. Our companion video will demonstrate how to use the valid recipients table. Thank you for watching.